Hey everyone, JT back with another video. Firstly, apologies for not posting a video earlier this week. As you can probably hear by my voice, I was down with a seasonal flu. On the mend now, but the voice is still a little bit croaky. So the other day, I was watching Tim and Kat's Green Walk, an amazing channel from a couple here in the UK who are on a similar journey to my own. I'll place some links in the description below to their channel. There's some great information there. And certainly Tim goes into a deep dive onto which of the uh, available tariffs you should be on. There's some really good information there. During their 100th video, congratulations guys, getting to 100 is no mean feat, they started discussing money and specifically return on investment, sometimes known as ROI. And this got me thinking because the very same topic came up in a conversation I had earlier this week. Why is it that when people talk about investing in solar panels or battery storage, they assume the only logical reason to do it is that it will pay for itself at some point in the future? Let me ask you this. Do you ever ask yourselves, what's the ROI when you buy a new car? Or when you refit your kitchen? or with just about any other big personal expenditure in your private life? Probably not. But for some reason, when it comes to solar, ROI is one of the major things that people seem to care about. So let's pause for a second, because today I want to share my reasons for installing solar. And spoiler alert, it's not really about the ROI. So really, if you look at solar owners as a whole, they fall into one of three categories in their reasons of why they installed it. Firstly, you've got the folks who, for whom ROI is everything. If it's not a solid financial investment, then they're out. Simple as that. Then there are those that are driven by environmental reasons. Their motivations come from reducing their carbon footprint and doing their part to combat global warming. And for them, that's worth every penny. And finally, the third group, which is where I personally fall, these are the people who want to be in control of their future. Now, you don't have to be in just one group. In fact, the majority of owners, um, it's a little bit about the ROI, it's a little bit about the environment, and it's a little bit about control. And each individual user will vary in which group they're predominantly in. But let me explain my reasons. As you can probably tell, I'm in my mid-50s. What? Well, I'm not old. I'm in pretty good shape. Um, I plan to enjoy life for many more years. And in the next four to eight years, I'll probably retire. And that's the thing. I don't want to spend my retirement being at the mercy of energy companies with fluctuating energy prices. We've already seen this year that energy prices are creeping up as we head into the winter. That's exactly why I installed a large solar array and a battery storage system, to safeguard against what I see as a failure of governments to regulate and stabilise the energy market. I'm not interested in spending my retirement money funding shareholders of big energy companies who are cashing in on ever-rising prices. Yes, I care about the environment. Yes, the ROI is a factor, but for me, the biggest reason to go solar was to gain independence from poor regulation, from unpredictable markets, and from the fear that my retirement could be impacted by the global energy crisis. Now, I totally get that not everybody can install a large solar system. It's a big financial commitment. But for my family, it made sense. I'd rather invest now and have the peace of mind that knowing I'm not relying upon external factors for my energy needs. And I know some of you might say, well, if you just put the money in the bank and took out a little each month, you'd have the same effect. But here's the thing. Eventually, that money runs out. And when it does, what are you left with? Nothing. You'd still be at the mercy of the rising energy costs. With my solar setup, I'm banking on enjoying my retirement without the anxiety that comes with shifts in the global energy market. And for me, that's the real return on investment. That's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you back here for another one real soon. Bye-bye.